This is Kristen, and today I'll tell you all about the different page layouts available in Kentico and how you can customize them to suit nearly any page configuration you have in mind. While there are many different page templates available in the Kentico system, most pages make use of either the standard two column 2575 with menu template or the three column 255025 with menu template. Both use the standard NWTC website header and footer and include the gray left-hand menu and mobile optimized menu for mobile viewers. They differ only in one way. The two column template gives you a space of 850 pixels, the entire width of the content area as one open block to edit. And the three column template gives you two open spaces, one wide one in the center that is approximately 550 pixels and a right-hand column that is about 300 pixels. The center column in these includes a breadcrumb and displays the title of the page. Then there is a section for a feature image that spans the width of the column. You can learn how to add one in the video, Adding a Feature Image. If this section is left empty, it will collapse and not be visible to the viewer. The next section is the main content block, outlined by a dotted line. This provides an open section for text that will span the entire width of the column. Some widgets can't be used in the main content block. Just below the main content block is a content widget zone. This is where we can get very flexible with layout and use widgets that are not available to use inline in the main content block section. In the three column template, the far right column is entirely a content widget zone section. You can add multiple widgets and content blocks and drag and drop them into the location you want. There's a bit of a trick to dragging. Kentico responds best when you mouse over the block, click the move button, it looks like a four-way arrow, and drag downward. This will move the block to the bottom. You can continue doing this with multiple blocks until they're in the order that you want. Then click save to make sure your edits are remembered. But what if you want to add more columns? That's where a bootstrap widget comes in. To start, check the page out. In the content widget zone, click the hamburger menu and choose add a new widget. Type bootstrap into the search box and click enter. Choose bootstrap layout and click the select button. The bootstrap layout dialog box opens. Here, you can choose how many columns you want to have. In this video, I will enter three, but you could have two, four, six, all the way up to 12. The column CSS prepend section allows you to determine how small the width of the section can get before the bootstrap sections stack up. This is really useful for mobile control. If you're not sure, leave this set to small. We can always change it later. If you want the columns to hold steady, even on mobile devices, choose extra small. In the columns section, you can choose how wide to make each column. To make each column one third of the page wide, choose four column or 33% from the first three dropdown menus. Then click save and close. The page will reload and show the bootstrap widget. Let's say you wanted to make a two column layout. Your first column could be nine columns or 75% wide, and your second column could be three columns or 25% wide. Focus more on the percentages to make sure they add up to 100%. Once the bootstrap is on the page, you are ready to add content. Each bucket in the bootstrap will need to have a widget added, even just to add content. Click the hamburger menu and choose Add a new widget, then add the NWTC content block widget to each section. Once you've added your text to the content blocks, click Check In and then Publish to save and publish the page. 